my camera is um, crapping out at shorter durations now. <laughs> okay, so making sure that this is sitting easily on the frame and in those wires. And I need to pull this one up bent a little bit. Yep, there we go. This one is going across here. Except I need to curve it a little bit more. And I'm going to anchor it right at this side. If I can get it through there. Come on. There we go. I'm losing beads here. And this. Oh, come on. Ugh. I want to pull this section so hard, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> One tight spot is causing issues. There we go. And we are secured. So now the crystal will stay on there, in there on its own. So there's two crystals. And... I have a bit more decorating and stuff to do. We're going to put another crystal on this side. And... Couple more times on this guy and then it's gonna curl up. If I were using 28 gauge base wire for this, I would have had to done that twice, but because I'm using 26, it's gonna be strong enough. I don't have to do that twice. I am, you know, these are Lindstrom's, but they're not what I thought they were. They're much smaller. Got a nice teeny tiny tip though. That won't focus. Of course not. <laughs> but, I mean, comparatively between my favorite players, which are my Tronex players, and my Lindstrom players, yeah, much smaller work so great for my lovely big hands. <laughs> big hands, long fingers, all that lovely stuff. Okay, so this is getting trimmed. And if you can see, I'm just getting right in there. And then I'm going to do that thing again where I go from a couple of different angles to push that end down. Make sure it's not going to snag on anything. Because that's the worst. Scratch somebody who wears your jewelry. Yeah, right. Catch their hair. Pull their hair out. Yay! <laughs> Alright. So. I'm going to start this one as a coil. Actually, maybe I'm not. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think that that would look better coiled. Maybe it would. Oh, there we go. Hmm. 
nice addition to that side. Now, this one is going to go under this one. Except I'm going to need to pull it up with the pliers because it doesn't want to come up on its own. Come on. There we go. Might as well keep pushing with the pliers at this point. There we go. So that can pull back across here on that side and shield the point of the Rivoli so that it doesn't wear out. So I'm just going to take this and pull it around both of these two wires. And squish that up nice and secure. One more. No sticky bits. See, there we go. Oh, I'm going to squish this end down a little bit. There we go. That looks cool. Oops, sorry. <laughs> That looks very cool. Nice protected point. Next up, some coiling. Actually, I'm going to do the other Rivoli first. So, I guess this one can go under and be the base. It'll be this one that I will do the coil on. Darn thing. <laughs> it keeps running away as I'm pushing. Like I was saying, my player fingers aren't quite cutting it lately. Get a little bit more going here. I'm not going to be able to do the flip, flip, flip on this because it is not going to work. Might work now that I've got it curved a bit, but I'm going to go around the curve first before I try. And now this stuff is in the way. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I love going around so many wires. Okay. Oops. Back here. Well. That's gonna, not going to work as well as I thought. Maybe I just have to go like this. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, good. I figured it out. <laughs> Trying to get my Rivoli thing to stay. Might as well do an anchor point here. Oh, maybe not. 
No, I'm going to do that after because right now I'm just kind of pulling it out of shape. So I'm going to do the avoiding of wires while I coil. for a minute. A little further. Don't know if you can hear my dog snoring in the background, but I think it's quite comical. Absolutely wanting to deform as I coil, too. Of course, you know. One of the things I'm doing is I'm shaping by actually pulling. I'm not, it's not just the spring that I'm doing. I've got my... So I, I can do some force while it's opening. And that helps form it rounder. When it goes kind of oblong. And I moved it out of shape again. Goodness. Okay. 